I roll back about 20 years ago, I think of myself in graduate school. And uh, I was working on humanitarian engineering for my PhD at UT Austin. I was just really excited about how can the, the gifts, the talents God has given me, uh, the degree I had the opportunity to earn, the three degrees in engineering, how can that be used for humanitarian application? And as a, as a Christian, knowing what Jesus said about serving the poor, like that was very much integrated into my faith internally, <clears throat> even though not necessarily in my classes. And I um, had not started a job search. I was not looking for a job. I had started to wonder, can I, can I ever get a job doing this? Is there some way I put so much of my life into uh, preparing to be a teacher, to serve students, uh, looking at just ways engineering can serve some of the neediest in the world. I was personally interested in missions applications, missionaries who are meeting spiritual and physical needs and wondering how, what are the next steps? You know, it wasn't clear to me the path. And I ended up in this phone conversation with a professor at a place called Laterno University. And I'd heard of it. I'd read the book in middle school. I heard some about the work they were doing with prosthetics in developing countries. And it uh, surprised me a little bit when he said, would you consider working here? Because again, I wasn't ready to graduate with my PhD. <clears throat> and uh, long story short, uh, filled out the application within about a month from that phone conversation. I'd verbally accepted a job. I had to graduate early. I didn't do a job search, and just for, for context, I had peers in graduate school who would delay their graduation multiple semesters to get a job in the United States, whereas I had a job in a place I wanted to be, in the state I wanted to be in, doing the kinds of things I wanted to do. <clears throat> so I, I got to Laterno. I love that it is a student teaching focus. That's the kind of place I wanted to be where our core mission was helping uh, young men and young women develop their God-given gifts to serve, to take care of their families, to make the world a better place, to be fulfilled and joyful and do all of that. Um, I appreciated that um, being at Laterno is a place where that integration of my, my faith and why I do what I do, it's, it's, it's celebrated, it's, it's part of our culture, it's part of our DNA. <clears throat> and so um, if a student comes into my, my office, they may need help with thermodynamics or, or something like that. They may also have a loved one with a, a medical need that they just need to talk about. They may want me to pray with them. And I can do all of that. I can, I can fully, um, openly before them, this is just who I am. This is what God has done in my life. Uh, how, how can I be helpful to you with, with where I am and my, my experience and, and, and so on? So, so those were reasons I was really excited to come to Laterno some years back. Um, and be a part of this exciting place and this mission where lives are changed. And when I got here, <clears throat> I, I, I had the opportunity to work with um, a, uh, a missionary on a flying car project, which sounds kind of crazy, but it's, it's, it's real. It's on the web. Steve Saint is actually Nate Saint's son, the, uh, the son of the uh, martyred missionary pilot. And I remember when I was in graduate school um, talking to ITEC, the organization that does this, and just seeing if there was any way I could work on some piece of it for my, my dissertation. And that, that didn't really work out. But he mentioned, you know, we're working with a school called Laterno University. And they're, gonna, they're working on this flying car thing. And I thought, how cool would it be to be at a university that is partnering with this missions organization, working on pieces of a flying car? And um, so kind of remembering that had happened just, I don't know, a year or two before I landed at Laterno not even connecting that I could one day become the faculty advisor for that project. And so for three, four years, I was able to work with teams. They made spring break trips down to this organization. Uh, a couple of them did internships, one for a couple of years, some for more like a summer uh, or more with this organization. So that was just a, a neat little, not the main thing, but a, just, a, a, just a fun way to see the connections, the dots that God had connected together uh, for his glory. <clears throat> so. Um, I, I love uh, being here. I love uh, just just this this journey, um, how I got to Laterno. Um, some of the things that um, I especially appreciate about this environment um, are the um, the the student focused teaching. Um, the hands on aspect is very important to me because if we're trying to uh, work on technologies that, um, that serve people, and, and that, 
it doesn't have to be in developing countries. That can be a better welding process to make things safer, stronger, less expensive, um, or any variety of thing. Um, one thing I've seen is that, that that needs to be coupled with with practice and with, with experience. And so um, this is something that um, the, the state schools that I went to where I got my education, I'm very grateful for that. Um, but they're trying to get more, more into this. And this is something that uh, was already the part of the DNA at Laterno when I came here. And, and, and so in some ways I feel like I um, added to my education by coming and working with my students and teaching these things and doing these projects. I also love that um, I, I came to help students' life cha lives to change, to uh, see God at work, to see them uh, change technically and spiritually. Training the next generation of engineers is, is, is what we get to be a part of here. Um, and I'm, I'm just super grateful and humbled to be hum humbled by the opportunity to be a part of that. But one thing I didn't anticipate when I came is that, that my life would change too. God wasn't done with me, that um, just, just daily as I pray with my faculty colleagues, as I pray with uh, um, higher level administrators, as I pray with students and do devotionals and classes, that uh, this is a community activity. Our faculty, our staff, our administrators, our students, we're, we're all being uh, growing professionally, becoming better at what we do, honing and cultivating our God-given skills. Um, and God is at work in our lives. I, I do want to mention that um, all students are welcome. And when I start off my classes at the beginning of the semester, I, I, I know people are in different places in their faith journey, and I understand that and I respect that. I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. Um, I'll help them however I can. Um, but uh, for those students who um, have chosen to follow Christ with their life, um, definitely that's part of what I want to uh, just support them in and encourage them and, and pray for them.